So we always ask for pictures, yeah. storm <laughs> stuff on our Arizona Weather Authority Facebook page, and we keep getting the same question from viewers all over the valley. It started maybe a week or so mm -hmm. ago. People wanting to know why are there so many flies and moths flying around this year? Seems a lot worse than normal yeah. to some folks. Frankie McLister joins us to explain why this insect influx is happening now in parts of the valley. Frankie armed with a fly swatter. Good idea, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jared, it's a brand new one, so if it touches my hands, don't you worry about it. Uh, basically, mosquitoes, moths, uh, flies, oh my, should we say. Obviously, this year's monsoon is very different from last year's monsoon, but is this the exact reasoning for the insect uptick that we are seeing? Watch. And I like pulled it around like this, and I looked down, and there was like a whole moth, like right about here in my hair like whole. He was dead. Barbara Smith isn't the only Phoenician with a moth run in this month. There are moths everywhere. They were on the outsides of our windows. They were getting in the house. They're on the outside of my car. There was one in my car yesterday. It seems to be an ongoing issue for people all across the state. Smith tweeted about her experience and she's not alone. We've seen reaction all over social media in one tweet even saying that quote downtown Phoenix is being plagued by moths. It's the same story in Mesa, the Verde Valley, and more. An expert from the U of A blames the bugs on the monsoon. Last year, the conditions were so harsh. You know, it was very dry, it was very hot. We didn't see great numbers of insects the last couple of years. And this year, it's the opposite, because the bugs have plenty of food. Moths that I'm getting a lot of inquiries about are species that are um, tied to mesquite, and the caterpillars feed on mesquite leaves and mesquite is doing great right now. So the best way to keep the pest away, well, he says it's as easy as the flip of a switch. As soon as the sun starts to go down, we turn off all the lights. Light is just something they love, so we've been living a very holistic lifestyle with a lot of candles and things like that as of late. Well, you just learn something new every day, don't you? Now, the U of A expert I spoke to also said that they are always here. When I say they, these creatures. But a lot of times they are hiding in bushes just like the ones that we see behind me. And obviously, uh, many times a year aren't as wet as we have been experiencing these past few months.